Hi everyone, it's Kind, and today's installment of my 31 Days of Halloween is inspired by a look I saw by Glenn Allen, who did an upside down look by using a mask on the upper half of his face. But today I wanted to see if I could pull off the illusion by using only makeup and strategic shading and contouring. Let's get started. First things first, you need to glue down your eyebrows. And I'm using glue stick because the glue flattens the brows down to the face, and the wax even helps to fill in some of the texture. That way when we conceal this area, it'll look as smooth as possible because this has to be where our cheeks are going to be. Do multiple layers if you have thick brows and wait for each one to dry. Um, you can secure the final layer using powder to eliminate any excess moisture or stickiness and then cover it up with concealer. Or in my case, I'm just using a full coverage foundation. Some people like to color correct their brows. I find if you use a high enough coverage concealer or foundation, that's enough for me. But if you choose to use a concealer, be sure to cover it with foundation to match the rest of the face. Now, I'm not really putting much product anywhere below my lips and on my jaw, since I know that my wig is going to cover that part. But moving on, once you've applied heavy foundation to the entire face, you're going to highlight. And I start by highlighting my new brow bone, which goes beneath the eye, kind of mirroring your actual brows. And this is only for later when we need to draw the actual eyebrows using a brown eyeshadow. And then now I'm highlighting where my nose would be. Um, I'm extending my actual nose bridge upwards and kind of drawing like a mushroom hat shape on the end to mark the bulbous part of the nose. And then I'm going to do that Kim Kardashian-esque under eye highlight, except upside down. So I'm starting from the eyelid going outwards like so, and I've mixed my foundation with Ben Nice Clown White for this pale highlight shade. And then we want to highlight where our forehead would be, which is going to be the area around the nose, above and between the eyebrows. Obviously the nose is like the biggest feature of the face and it's hard to hide, but you want to try and make it disappear and look flat like a forehead by applying a high coverage layer of highlight, which will ideally eliminate the shadows and dimension that make the nose so prominent. And then next we're contouring. Contouring my real temples, which would be where the cheekbones are going to be, and then contouring where the nose would be, and also contouring my cheeks and beneath my real nose, which would be where the temple and forehead area on the upside down face are going to be. Set everything with a skin tone powder or a colorless one so that none of the creams will budge and this will also create a mattified surface to blend powders on top of. I'm taking a matte bronzer and accentuating all of my contours, especially around the forehead and cheeks. You can see I'm contouring like around where my lip area is. It makes it look like I have a, literally a 5 o'clock shadow, but this is where the hairline of the upside down face would be. And now I'm drawing my eyebrows using any brown eyeshadow, and I'm just following the line we made earlier, still keeping in mind that I want the inner parts to be faded. It can really be hard to tell whether it looks good since the brow was like a weird shape. So the way I could figure out whether I was on the right track is I would take a picture of myself and then turn my phone upside down to see what it would look like if the brows were right side up. In my case, I was making the brows just like two straight lines and I needed to add some curve and emotion to them. Next, I seem to have forgotten to record my eyeshadow, but I went in with a light brown first and a dark brown second on the lower outer part of the eyes, placing the brush against my lash line and blending outwards towards where the arch of the brow is. But here, I'm just doing my upside down wing liner by extending my upper lash line downwards and connecting it to the inner corner. And then here, I'm placing some smokiness on the upper lash line, which upside down would translate to the lower lash line. So add some dimension, but not too much. So just use a thin angled brush and then blend it out. Now I'm doing the nose, which is pretty intimidating because whenever I try to draw someone's face, the nose seems to be always where I mess up. But I started off by making a highlight and then that mushroom hat shape at the end. And then with a small brush and a small bit of brown eyeshadow, I drew the nostrils by doing two dots at the top. And then I slowly outlined everything with brown. I also found it helped to first create that middle part, which is almost like an eggplant or an upside down teardrop shape, and then contour around that. And then afterwards, I would add two lighter eggplants beside it, which are the nostrils. It's not really as hard as it seems. I kind of surprised myself, I, but I think the key is in using your highlights instead of shadows. Next, I'm doing the lips, which is pretty easy. Just do the little bow on the bottom by creating kind of a W, and then the top is a smooth line and create the shape using a red liquid lip formula or even face paint if you want and then add dimension using blacks and whites to make it look 3D. 
I added black all along the perimeter and then an, a horizontal line in the middle, and then I blended it with the red using the brush that had the red on it. And similarly, you're gonna add white to the bottom and the upper lip, and then follow with more blending by stippling it. Clean up any edges with your base color, and then my next step, which I probably should have done before, is just touching up the bronzer and adding blush to where the cheeks are gonna be, which on my real face is like my temple area. Finally, I'm adding mascara and lashes to the eyes. Naturally, since the eyes are upside down, we're gonna add falsies to the bottom lash line, making sure they're concaved in towards the cheek. Sometimes people make the mistake of having their lower lashes concave outwards, which is not proper. For the costume, you can really wear any clothes you want, which is really convenient, although the only issue is the hair. So I took my lace front wig and I used the straps it has and I attached them behind my neck to keep the hairline secured in place above my lips. And then I took some hair pieces and pinned them to my wig cap up on the top of my head. Ideally, you want all your hair to be up towards the ceiling, but it's really hard to style it that way. So I ended up just using a bunch of pins and ponytails. Anyway, I really hope you like this look. Last time I did an upside down look, a lot of you loved it, which made me really happy. If you recreate this one, please tag me. Not that I care so much about getting credit, but because I really want to see your take on it. But until next time, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.